Hey guys, this is Andrew the at-home marketer and this is a render for us review and tutorial video. RenderForest is an online video, animation, logo, and website maker that allows you to use their online branding tools to design your logo, create professional intros, animations, promo videos, slideshows, music visualizations, landing pages, or even a professional website. Uh, and I'm going to be walking you through each of those components to show you how it works, uh, as well as uh, giving you my recommendation in terms of whether this would be right for you and your business. All of their features are laid out very clearly here on the front page of their website. Uh, I'm currently logged into a free account. You can go in to create a free account to play around with this to see what works best for you. Uh, and then from there, you can decide what level of service you actually want to sign up for. Uh, so with that in mind, let's jump into making a logo. When you click on Make Logo up here at the top, this is the screen that you will see. Uh, their logo maker is AI based, so they will ask you to input some very important information and then they will come up with several different designs that you can then customize. Uh, so just jumping in here, I'm going to get my logo. Uh, I did already put my brand name in here. So then I'm taking to their actual AI Creator Studio. Uh, so the things that they ask you are your company name, your tagline, which this is my tagline, and then in a short description, uh, I will just put one in there as an example. This is an example. And then I will click next here. Then what they will ask is for you to choose your style. So they have several different examples up here on each of the different styles. Uh, select the one that you like. Uh, I definitely prefer the alphabetical when possible. So I'll click that one and then click next. And the AI will do its thing and I will sit here with my thumbs twiddling and then I will be taken to this screen where you can select the different styles right here and start to customize what you're seeing with your logo. Uh, so if any of these jump out at you, uh, feel free to select them. They do have down here some different things. On, uh, these are the mockups of what they would look like on various items. Uh, so I'll just select this one uh, very quick and easy and then Again, here are the mockups, and I can edit and download. And then this is where you can really get fancy with it. So you can select the text, whatever your font may be, uh, depending on your brand standards, uh, different colors, different icons, and then also adjusting, I believe this is the size, so the icon size, icon opacity, etc. Um, so whatever you want to do to customize this, uh, and then again, you can continue to look at the mockups to see how they will look on various uh, products. So when you're done with your logo, you're going to go over here and click download. Uh, and this is when they will start to sell you if you don't already have a plan uh, or you'll just be able to download it right away. Uh, so they do offer several different plans. I'll just go over them into them briefly. Uh, these are the plans that you would need for each of these different types of logos. Uh, and then they also allow the option to download individual images where you just pay once uh, and then you can get that image downloaded. Uh, in general, the monthly plans are much better of a deal, uh, but they do still offer that one image download. So I am not going to do this because I do not want this um, logo, so I'll just click that. And then I'm taking over here to my list of options to download uh, again. So the free version will be a lo very low quality in terms of image resolution. Uh, and they do offer other ones over here. Uh, I believe it will have a watermark on it as well. So that is just another um, way that they're trying to get you to sign up for a bigger plan. Uh, but in general, that is how the logo maker works. All right, guys, so jumping over here to create video, you'll find that they have a ton of different options in terms of videos that you can create. Uh, I will just run through them all here real quickly. Uh, they have animated videos with a ton of different options down here, intros and logos where you can do a bunch of cool different things with your logo, uh, as well as design intro videos um, for, you know, any YouTube videos, Facebook videos, etc. Uh, they have slideshows, so if that's something that you want to work on, uh, feel free to test those out, presentations, uh, and music visualizations. 
uh, which I'm not as familiar with, but I do know that they are very popular in certain groups. Uh, so I will not dive into all of these individually, but I will just kind of click on one of these to show you what the editor looks like. It's very similar to the logo editor, uh, and you know it's extremely easy to use. All they require is your media. Um, so again, over here, uh, they'll have a short explainer video on each of these. So whatever you click on, uh, this one is a quick logo animation. They'll have a short video. Give it a watch, and it'll explain how to do it. Uh, and then as well as a bunch of different templates that you can use. Uh, if you want to just speed up the process. Uh, so I'm just going to click on create now to go into the editor. So in the editor you'll find all the different elements of the video that you'll be creating. Uh, for this one you add your logo which if you already have it from earlier uh, you can create your logo uh, and then download the file and drop it in here uh, and then your tagline as well. Uh, they do offer style effects, so anything about um, how you want to customize that, uh, and then things like color. So again, uh, another way to incorporate brand colors into your design, uh, and then music as well. I believe that most of these are their own stock library, so you can use any of these. I do not know. I believe you can upload your own music here, um, but you'll have to play around with that and see. Again, it'll probably depend on whatever plan you did choose. And then at the end here, you can preview your project. And if you would like to download it, you can then buy your, um, your project. So again, as I mentioned earlier, you can buy individual projects. Or if you have the subscription plan and it comes with this capability, then you can just make as many of these as you want. So that was the video element of Render Forest. Uh, next, we'll jump over here to actually editing the mockups. Uh, so, if you have designs like your logos, and you saw this earlier, uh, you can view what those designs will look like on different products. Uh, they are limited in, in terms of products, but uh, they do have several options that are very popular. Uh, so, for apparel, you can look at T-shirts and hoodies. For devices, iPhone and desktop, branding, logo mockups, billboards, under products, mug, packaging, food and beverages. Uh, print, magazines, and books, uh, interior, wall designs, and frames. So these are perfect for if you have a client that you want to show something to. Uh, you can get a quick mock-up here and show them what it looks like. Uh, I'll just jump over to T-shirt since that is a very popular one. Uh, and you can go in here and actually look at um, you know different designs of what it would look like on a product. Uh, so I'll just scroll down here so you get a good idea of just how many options they have in terms of mock-ups. Uh, you know, it's just an added little benefit here. Uh, they don't actually do any of the, um, you know, printing of the product, but you can see what it looks like. So that's everything for actually editing the mock-up. Uh, for the final project, we can jump over here to building a website. So under building a website, again, they have a ton of different templates for uh, whatever your industry may be. Uh, they have a ton of different business ones, lifestyle, personal, event, nonprofit, art, you name it. Uh, it's a very, again, very easy um, drag and drop website creator. Uh, there are a ton of different website creators on the market uh, in terms of either a full website or a landing page. Uh, traditionally, I found that WordPress is best, uh, but if you're looking for something a little bit easier and you want to try it out, uh, as well as utilizing some of the other services they have, uh, it's not a bad idea to go in and play around with it. Uh, you know, landing pages are a great addition to any website. So even if you aren't putting your main URL to one of these websites, uh, you can use a subdomain, uh, and it does allow you to connect that within the editor itself. Uh, so jumping into the editor, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to load a template uh, just because it does seem a bit easier. So I'm just going to choose this first one here because it is the first one. Uh, so when you're in the editor, uh, if you've used the website editor before, a lot of these components will be very familiar. Uh, over here on the left is your actual navigation where you can choose what you're editing. Uh, you can see here as well, you can add images for your logo, uh, as well as changing out these different links to your various services um, or other links. Uh, you can have a style, so if you want to add buttons or elements, they are in here. 
color again for branding purposes you can add any of your colors in here uh, and really customize whatever template you are using uh, or if you're building from scratch uh, again all of these will be available uh, pages so this is where if you're building out a full website uh, you can add multiple pages so let's just say you don't just want a home page you can create all of the other pages in here and then link to whatever the URLs are uh, by going up here and finally the widgets themselves so it does incorporate with different um, tools uh, I'm not familiar with all the tools that they incorporate with but you'll have to do a little research on your own and figure out uh, what these are you know many websites have live chat I see right away that they offer these as well so that's a great addition if you're doing something with selling a product or anything that involves customer service most businesses need it uh, and they can provide it here finally under settings you can have all the different options in terms of cookies your favorite con uh, your social images as well as your website email any analytics you need in terms of Google or Facebook uh, for tracking purposes so you put those in here under settings and then when you're connecting a domain um, you can go over here to this and again you'll need a subscription to actually unlock this feature uh, but I'll go a little bit more into that in a second when you've made your changes to your website whether it be through your template or through the one creating from scratch uh, you just go up here to publish uh, and it will then prompt you if you don't have a subscription uh, to sign up for a subscription or you can publish your free site uh, again free sites are very limited in terms of the capacity uh, and what can they can do uh, but they do have the option there uh, and then you will be taken again to my projects which is where all your stuff will be stored whether it be videos logos websites mock-ups you name it it'll all be here in one place and you can access that at any time through your account finally one of the most important parts when it comes to any software is the pricing uh, render forest is a very affordable option if you're looking for an all-in-one media solution uh, they have several different plans here both monthly and yearly I'm currently looking at yearly uh, they are a bit they are quite a bit less actually than the monthly if you're just paying on a monthly basis uh, you can use the free version it is very limited in terms of what it can do I recommend going in here and checking out all of the different features at each level of the plans to figure out what you and your business may need uh, and then from there you can pick whatever one you'd like uh, and test it out so I do have a link in the description down below if you're interested in signing up for a free trial of render forest uh, I do recommend giving it a try go in play around with it see if it works for what you need it for uh, it is very user friendly so it is almost impossible to mess it up uh, and it does save a lot of time money and energy uh, compared to actually outsourcing to a professional video um, editor or designer uh, with that in mind you will have limited capacity and capability with it but again it's an all-in-one solution so if you're looking for one or more of these things render forest could be that solution also if you guys don't mind giving this video a thumbs up uh, and subscribing to my channel for more software reviews uh, I'll be reviewing other products similar to this uh, that can help all business entrepreneurs uh, on their day-to-day -day tasks uh, so I hope you guys have a good one uh, let me know if this was helpful and I'll see you guys soon